Hey guys, we are going to make today, you can call it either a pie chart, a circle graph, whatever you want, okay? So, we've been given this information, okay? This is actually when I was a teacher. I asked my students what their favorite sports were, and these were the results I got. So if you don't like them, sorry, I didn't, it wasn't me. So, <laughs> we have these different numbers of students that like these sports, okay? Now, when we are making a circle graph or a pie chart, it's kind of whole purpose is to compare the piece to the whole. Okay. So it's important for us to know our total. Okay. So when we add all these together, we get 50. Okay. So 50 students participated in this survey. Okay. So now what we need to do is figure out what part each of these pieces are to the whole. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take basketball. Its part is 11. Okay, the whole is 50. Okay, we're taking the part, dividing it by the whole. When I divide that in my calculator, I get 0.22. Okay, now to change that to a percent, we move the decimal over twice and get 22%. Okay, are we feeling okay about this? Let's do it again. Hockey got four. That's my part. The whole is the same. The whole is 50. When I divide those, I get 0 0.08. Now, all of these have been rounding nicely. If you do get a number that's like a long decimal, just make sure you, you round it to wherever your teacher asked you to round it to. Okay. <laughs> so to change this to a percent, I move it over twice. So it is 8%. Okay. Football. My class this year apparently, or that year, liked football. So the part is 21. The whole is still 50. When I divide those, I get 0.42. Okay. To turn that into a percent, I'm going to move the decimal over twice and get 42%. Okay. All right. Soccer. Soccer got four. So four out of my whole is 50. When I do four divided by 50, oh, this was the same as hockey, 0 0.08. Move my decimal over twice and get eight. Okay. Volleyball got two. Two, my whole is still 50. Two out of 50 gives me 0 0.04. I'm going to move that decimal over twice and get four percent. Okay. And then I distinctly remember some students being like, what if we don't like sports? So I did a none category for them. <laughs> so eight out of 50. When I divide that, I get 0.16. Move that over twice. I get 16. Okay. Just so you know, I was not doing these in my head. I did it beforehand. I wish I could do it that fast in my head. Okay. So now this part might seem redundant, but I feel like it's important to help you understand it. Now we're going to figure out what 22% of 360 degrees is. Okay. Where did I get this 360 degrees? Good question. <laughs> so a circle is broken up into 360 degrees. Every circle, every time. Okay. Every circle is considered 360 degrees. Okay. So to be able to figure out how big my piece needs to be, I need to figure out how many degrees it is, okay? So right now we're in percent, we wanna be in degrees, okay? So I wanna know what 22% of 360 is, cause that's how many degrees that slice will be. If you're like, you are speaking a foreign language, stick with me, I'm gonna show you, okay? So 22% of 360, we're going to take 360, and multiply it by the decimal version of 22%, which is 0.22. This is why you're like, why did you make us write that? It has a purpose, okay? Just, just hang with me. So if I put this in my calculator, 360 times 0.22, I get 79.2, which I'm going to round to 79 degrees, okay? Next one. Hockey was 8% of my circle. Okay. So we need to know what 8% of 360 is. 
uh, 360 degrees is. So I'm going to multiply 360 by 0 0.08, okay? When I multiply that, put it in my calculator, I get 28.8 degrees, which I'm going to round up to 29 degrees, okay? Your teacher will probably tell you to round to the nearest whole number or the nearest tenth place. Just round to wherever your teacher says, okay? All right, next one. We need to know what 42% of 360 is. So I'm going to multiply 360 by 0.42. When I get that, sorry, when I do that, I get 151.2, which I'm going to round to 151 degrees. Okay. All right. Soccer was the same as hockey, right? So I'm just doing the same thing. 8%, 360 times 0 0.08. And I round it to 29 degrees. Okay. All right. Volleyball. We want to know what 4% of 360 degrees is. So 360 times 0 0.04. Gives me 14.4, which I'm going to round to 14 degrees. Okay. All right, last one. And you know what 16% of 360 is. So I'm going to multiply 360 by 0.16. When I do that, I get 57.6. So I'm going to round it to 58. Okay. A good habit to get into when you are doing things like this is to add these numbers and make sure that it adds to 100%. Now, that being said, if you needed to round some of these numbers, if they didn't come out pretty like this, it's possible because of the rounding, you could get like 99% or 101%, okay? But as long as you're not like 300%, right? <laughs> as long as you're about 100%, you should be good, okay? Same with over here. We should add up to 360, okay? Again, if you needed to round, which we did on this one, but it still ended up 360. But with rounding, you could sometimes get like 359 degrees or 361 degrees. But as long as you're right there, you should be good. It's just a good check, okay? All right, now's the fun part, okay? Here is my circle, okay? Now this is just this, <laughs> I just put them, so, okay, I changed the order because I put them from biggest to smallest, okay? So they're in order from biggest to smallest now. I put their degrees here and their percentage here, okay? So this is just this put from greatest to smallest and so I didn't have to keep like going back and forth, okay? All right, so the first thing that you need, all right, is a protractor. Crap, where's my protractor? I had it. Hold on. Guys, I found it. <laughs> it's clear, which is helpful, but it's easy to lose. Okay, so what you want to do first is, okay, I'm gonna use gray. So we like to um, start with a line from the middle to the top approximately it doesn't have to be perfect but we like to start like that okay and then it is very helpful if you go from biggest to smallest which is why I ordered these this way okay speaking of if you're like I don't have a protractor this was like 69 cents a few years ago who knows with inflation it might be more now but <laughs> Shouldn't be too much, okay? Um, plus, I'm sure your school has them also, okay? All right, so these are my degrees. Remember how we said a circle is 180 degrees? Oh, sorry, oh my gosh, 360. <laughs> sorry, half a circle is 180 degrees. So there's my half circle that's 180 degrees, okay? So if we went all the way around, it would be 360, okay? So... Um, you just make sure that you're using the right side. So you have them on the outside and on the inside. I typically just use the outside to help me keep it straight. Okay. So basically football is 151 degrees. So what I'm going to do here is I don't line it up 
like that. That's that's a straight edge, but I'm going to put the middle, see that circle, on this circle and line it up with that line there. Do you see that line? And I'm lining it up with that line, okay? This is my zero right here, okay? And I'm going to go from 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, all the way around to 151, okay? Put a little mark there. And then I'm going to use this as my straight edge to draw the line. Okay, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so this is my football section. We always want to make sure we're labeling. And then you could always label it um, with different things. You could put how many students or whatever. I personally am going to put the percentage. Um, but your teacher may ask you to label it with something else. So just figure out what your teacher wants you to label it with. Okay. All right. Next is basketball, which is 79 degrees. Okay. So I'm not lining up with this line this time. I'm lining up with this line. Okay. Cause I want my slice to go that way. So center hole goes on the center and I line this line up. Remember this is my zero and I'm going around to 79 degrees. Pull a mark. And then I'm going to use my straight edge to draw a line. Okay. All right. So this was basketball. If you can hear my cute kids, they're playing. <laughs> this was basketball and this was 22%. Okay. All right. Next was our nun category, which was 58 degrees. So I'm lining up here. Okay, putting my hole on that middle piece, lining up the line, and going to 58 degrees, which is, there's 55, 6, 7, 8, about there. Okay. And then we're going to draw a line. Okay. This one was none. And that was 16%. Okay. All right, next is hockey, which is 29 degrees. So again, I'm lining that up. Just make sure you're always paying attention to where you are lining things up, okay? So then I'm going to line that up. I feel like I've said line that up a lot. You're welcome. Okay, this one was hockey. And 8%, okay? We're almost done. Soccer is 29 degrees again. Oh, <laughs> guys, I lined that up wrong. <laughs> I was just making sure you were paying attention. Not really. Okay, line that up. 29 degrees is right there. And then we are crossing our fingers that we did it accurately enough that this last piece is 14 degrees. Okay, so I'm going to check it. Ooh, it is right on it. Well, pre yeah. Oh, yeah. We did good, guys. Okay. So, this one was soccer. With 8%. And volleyball. Oh, how am I going to fit volleyball in there? Here, we're going to turn it. <laughs> volleyball. The longest one. Well, it might not be the longest. One of the longest ones got the smallest thing. Okay, that was 4%. Okay. There we go. There is our graph. Now there's two other things we need to do. Okay. A title. Okay. Titles are pretty important for graphs. So I'm going to call this sports. We like that took me a long time to come up with that title. So I hope you like it. Okay. And then we get to color it. Okay. But I'm not going to sit and make you watch me color. I might do a short on that. That'd be fun. Um, but here we go. Oh, I changed the title on this one. That's okay. Look how pretty that is, guys. Okay. I hope this made sense and that you can make a circle graph or pie chart. <laughs> Good luck. Bye.